CONCACAF Nations League final between U.S. men's team and Mexico stopped twice by discriminatory chanting, the CONCACAF Nations League final between the U.S. men's team and Mexico on Sunday was marred by discriminatory chanting from spectators at the ATT Stadium in Texas, forcing the referee to twice stop the game. Goals from Tyler Adams and Gio Reyna secured the U.S. a 2-0 win and its third consecutive trophy, but referee Drew Fisher twice suspended the game after continued homophobic chants. From sections of the 59,471 crowd, the use of a homophobic slur was shouted most when U.S. goalkeeper Matt Turner took a goal kick in the latter stages of the match, with the U.S. already up 2-0. The first suspension came in the 88th minute and lasted for over four minutes. Players were brought into the center circle as stadium announcements urged the crowd to stop, then, in the sixth minute of stoppage time, the referee brought play to a halt again for over a minute. CONCACAF condemns the discriminatory chanting in the final minutes of the Nations League final between Mexico and the United States men's national teams, the Confederation of North, Central America and Caribbean Association Football, one of FIFA's six continental governing bodies, said in a statement after the match, security staff in the stadium identified and ejected a significant number of fans. And the referee and match officials activated the FIFA protocol. Johnny Infantino, president of World Soccer's governing body FIFA, said he was extremely disappointed to hear the chance, discrimination, of any kind, has no place in football and no place in society, and I call on the relevant authorities to ensure that those